Oh, hey, y'all. I am Chelsea of Knitting Tipsy, and welcome to another episode of Show Us Your Knits. Um, in this series, I am pleasing my inner child with a show and tell and showing y'all the finished objects that I have made. Usually they're selfish whips, um, whips, selfish foes. They can also be um, tests that I have done, but they are all patterns that I really enjoyed and I just wanna show off. So cheers to that. Cheers to pleasing our inner child, our, our inner children. And it's a gorgeous day here in Florida. This, what day is today? February, I think it's the last day of February. <gasps> February 28th, the very last day of February. It's a gorgeous day here. Um, it's in the 80s, it's sunny. Let me flip you so y'all can see. I'm coming at y'all from my GoPro, which is still relatively new to me. I'm still figuring things out and I don't have a tripod that works with it. So maybe, maybe I'll insert a video of how precariously clipped <laughs> y'all are on my uh, old tripod, but I am very excited about my GoPro. Thank you, Kofi subscribers and anybody who bought patterns during my birthday sale in January. That's how I was able to afford and get this camera for myself. So thank you. Anyways, show us your nets. What are we gonna be talking about today? Well, I'm gonna grab, you can probably see it a little bit here, um, my not latest, but the faux we're gonna talk about. But I wanted to show y'all what I have on underneath that kind of completes the ensemble. This is my design. This is my boobiful bralette. It's available on Ravelry and KnittingTipsy.com. Very fun and summery, perfect for these 80 degree days. I love the lime, gre lime green true boo that I'm rocking here. And it goes really well with my super boho, witchy earrings, crystal earrings. I think they're opalite from Wrapped by Inara. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on this faux so you can see how cute it looks with this outfit. And then we're gonna talk about it. This is The Aviva Cardigan by the beautiful, wonderful, creative Amber of Divine Debris. Amber has the, like, she is always just busting out pattern after pattern. It is absolutely amazing. All of her designs are so creative, fun. They're full of texture, but they're also simple. So when you look at, you're like, yeah, I could, like, I could totally make that. And that's a knit flixing or a whipping and sipping kind of whip. Um, and I love that. I love all of her designs. I have several in my queue. We'll talk about the next one of her designs that I'm going to make. But this is the Aviva cardigan. Now mine looks a little bit different than hers because I took some liberties, um, made some modifications. But um, just look at the stitch texture. Like, isn't this yummy? It makes it nice and light and airy, but still, depending on the yarn you use, still cozy enough. Um, to keep you warm. So I think it's a great transitional piece from spring to summer or winter to spring, you know, summer to fall, fall to winter. Well, fall to winter, this might be a little breezy unless you live here in Florida where it'd be perfect for evenings, evenings out with some breezy weather. So the Aviva cardigan, um, recommended hook was a 5.0 millimeter um, H hook. That is what I used. Um, she recommends a DK weight yarn. I used Hobie 88, the rainbow 88 cotton, which is a DK. Although I feel like it's like a little, little on the thicker side of DK, like kind of a heavy DK. Um, and I did use the cotton. Um, this color is apricot. It's 065. I've used this, I was actually using the leftovers from the Edith dress that I made for Namaste and Crochet. So my Edith dress is in the same color. Um, I actually put this with it at one point and I'm like, it's so much apricot, it's so good. Who doesn't love good peachy apricot? Oh, that's what we're drinking today, some peach. And I do feel like this color is kind of peachy, so cheers. What I did with mine, can I like tilt you guys down anymore? Yep, there we go, a little bit. I made mine super cropped. I was worried I wasn't going to have enough yarn to make the full length version. 
And also I really wanted to make a cropped cardigan in the first place. So um, I blocked my panels pretty aggressively, but they hit naturally right at about like the smallest part of my waist, which makes this so cute for wearing with crop tops because it still kind of shows off your waist. Um, I've also paired it with a couple of dresses and it looks so cute because it, if the dresses have a little bit of flow to them, it just kind of like hits you right in that perfect spot to, to be what I consider flattering on my body. So I also um, shortened the sleeves. I didn't go really the full length. Um, I wouldn't say they're like short, short, but normally I like my sleeves that hit somewhere between my wrist and my knuckles. So these ones are a little shorter for me, but I'm, I'm really glad that I did because I think it goes with the vibe of the top to have them a little bit shorter. I also did not do any of the decreases for the arm. I just left mine. They're all, it was all the same. Straight arm. Okay, so I started this whip back in April of 2022. Last year, I was going through a little design rut. I didn't want to work on any of my own designs. So I saw this, pictured the yarn that I had and was like, I'm just gonna cast on. I think I even messaged Amber and I'm like, I'm doing it, I'm gonna make it. This really is such a fast make. When I actually worked on it, it worked up so quickly. However, I did not finish it until January of 2023, which means this was a nine month bouncing baby whip. But she was worth, she was worth the wait because now I wear it all the time. The other thing I just wanted to make sure that I let you guys know, I did not add the lapel. She has a really beautiful lapel that's added to it, but I liked this raw edge. I didn't, in my mind, I was gonna add just like a single crochet edging around it. I didn't even wanna do that. I just liked the raw edge that we have here. And I was afraid I wouldn't have enough yarn. So this is what I got out of it. And I freaking love it. I already have this in my closet, as I said, worn with shorts and crop tops and with dresses, but I also think this would look really cute with overalls. I have a pair of like cream, like real soft cotton overalls I wanna try to pair it with. And also totally would look really cute with like a longer tank top or, you know, t-shirt underneath this and a pair of jeans. And it would just be like, oh, the perfect summer outfit. So I'm gonna pop in some pictures here of how I styled this the first time that I wore it. Um, I paired it with this gorgeous white skirt. It was just the springiest, happiest outfit. I really love um, this look here. But here with my white cream shorts and my um, green boobiful bralette, I also feel like is a really fun, bright colored. And I'm sitting here outside, it's 85 degrees. I'm really not hot in it. I mean, I would be cooler with it off, but it's quite comfortable especially with the cotton. The other of Amber's designs that I really, really want to make is the, did I write it down? Yes, thank goodness, the Evelyn crop. Let's pop another picture in. It is so pretty. I th She's wearing a really similar color to like what I have on, I think, in the picture. And I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe I'll make another one in this color. I want to do hot pink. Hot pink and the Evelyn crop. And again, I think I'm gonna make mine a little croppier, quite a bit croppier than I think what Amber has. I want it to like show off the belly button, but Amber, you make cute shit. You make cute shit that makes me wanna make it. So well done you. Y'all need to go check out Divine Debris if you're not following her on Instagram or check out her patterns on Ravelry. I'm pretty sure every week she has like a two or $3 pattern sale and you can snag one of her patterns for cheaper than they usually are. Um, Amber also has really cool like wall hangings, but they're crochet, tapestry cro crochet. They are so cute. I am waiting until she comes out with a monstera or a palm tree, something like that, which I'm hoping is coming. She's done some cactuses. She's done, I, she just completed like this gorgeous lemon. It's very springy, very cool, like a lemon kind of tapestry. So Amber, when you get to the palm trees, oranges, Florida oranges, girl, I am all over that. I, got, I volunteer as tribute to test. So <laughs> make sure you're following Amber um, 
I have another faux that will be coming up for these Show Us Your Knits episodes. Um, I think I'm gonna do a new design diaries because y'all, I have been making a lot lately. I have Valentine's Day uh, designs. I have uh, St. Patrick's Day designs to show y'all in addition to some other things that I have been working on. So design diaries coming out coming at y'all soon. And once I get some more batteries for my GoPro, we're gonna go out exploring Florida. So I'll take you on some adventures there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions about the Aviva cardigan. Um, if there's something you've seen me wear before that you'd like me to do a show us your knits to talk a little bit about it, just let me know. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on anything. Have a great day, y'all.